we looked at um, value for money. You haven't got a huge budget sometimes and you know lots of employers won't have. So how do you make sure your employees are benefiting and getting the best value for money even from their workplace pension? Because how do we prove we are? How do we understand mm -hmm. if they are? Ma massive, uh, massively important. It's not just the tick of having a workplace pension in place. It's more important than that. Is it working for your employees, mm -hmm. for those savers? You know, it's the longest holiday of their life, isn't it? <laughs> and, you know, how are they getting value for money? How can we understand if they are or not? Mm -hmm. Is that a lot of organisations have started asking serious questions about the value that they're getting for the money they're paying to these pension providers. And as uh, the amounts that have built up inside of pension schemes have increased, I think you've got more than 100 million in your scheme now. Yeah. You? Um, so it's becoming a lot more important. Than um, but answering, answering your question about age wage, um, you know, what, 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 what was it that you were really lacking, do you think, before we came along? I think that interrogation into the reports we had and understanding if we were getting value for money, you know, if our savers were getting value for money. So, you know, we didn't really have that expertise. Yeah, and, and I mean, how, how would you go about it? Do you have something like a governance committee which looked at these things? Well, we did. We had a governance committee and we still have that. We set that up only two years ago, mind you. Um, but more of our, our governance committee, you know, our pension provider joins, they go through um, processes with you, such, but more based on the SLAs, have they been met, are they red, amber, green, but not really into the fund performance as an individual yeah. getting value for money. Yes, the fund is yeah. performing really well, but what about the individuals? You know, this is something new, this is something really innovative. Mm. I think it's an amazing way uh, to understand from a third party non-biased, whether your individual savers are getting value for money. And I hadn't heard of something like that before. OK. So, you know, and I, I think it's important. So, you know, there's still more challenges to come with that because mm. we our score, overall score, is, is excellent, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, which is brilliant. And we're going for the refresh of data a year on. Let's see how the score is again, because, you know, that backs up that first score. We've looked at outliers, you know, and, and we can understand them, which also backs up that that data is correct. The refresh will be really important. And then it's about how are we going to work with our provider to tell our employees how their fund is performing, you know, how their savings is performing overall because they should know that and you know what it's like reading a pension statement yeah I mean you know it goes in the drawer and um, sometimes my husband will take mine out and update his wealth management spreadsheet <laughs> you know because that's what he's like mm -hmm. but um, you know it's important for employees to understand yeah. a bit yeah. more about pension so this is a bit like a credit score for your pension yeah. I, I think you've touched on a really important problem that employers have with workplace pensions which is they don't actually get very much MI about what their employees are doing so it, it's the typically it's the provider who knows who's making the inquiries and mm -hmm. so on so kind of having an app of your own which is independent of the provider mm -hmm. where you can see who's using it where where the hot spots are in the company and where they aren't and, you know I'd say an employer should be paying their pension over anyway mm -hmm. unimpacted by furlough and you know looking at why if the opt-outs have increased during that period of time then there's something wrong mm -hmm. do you know do you know what your opt-outs were over very low yeah. i know ours is and we contractually enroll as well yeah. so you know and people tend to stay in it because it doesn't feel like a lot yeah. that much mm -hmm. and, and you're used to it coming out you are and also you know we enroll straight away when they join the company but i just think it's it's such a, you know it's, it's an opportunity for more salary from your employer mm -hmm. but invested over years and years and years to provide you with the lifestyle you need that's two is and another. we're doing another age wage communication about that you know publicizing that so that to get the message out there because mm -hmm. that lands on every person's doorstep and, you know you think you know it's it's really it's a great magazine mm -hmm. actually it's really good there's fun in there too mm. and it's it talks to you about pensions in a non-boring way yeah because let's face it <laughs> pensions is a bit boring 
it is. Them. Work is boring. <laughs> pensions are boring. That's why we do pensions at work. <laughs> or people might just take their money out and spend it or give it to some, uh, so, 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 some nefarious place and get scattered. All kinds of things could happen if we don't give people clear guidance about what their options are. So again, it's really important that we, we get, especially for the over 50s, yeah. we get to them, get them to have an interview with Pensions Wise, which is the government mm -hmm. agency, uh, and get them to either take advice or pay attention to their pension. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, you made me think about something else then, and you know, the scamming. Yeah. It's, it's scary. And you know, that's another thing sewers are doing actually. You know, we're working with NatWest now, and they're doing three different webinars for our staff um, this year. And one of them is on avoiding the scams. Yeah. You know, how to avoid the scams, what to look out for. Because it's really easily done when, mm -hmm. if you're even slightly naive, yeah. and then mortgage very help, real. you know, different subjects. So, really, it's great for our employees because they see that we are, yeah. you know, it's not only mental well-being; it's financial well-being. Mm -hmm. The thing that's holding back companies from putting pensions online is they're worried about the quality of their data. Mm -hmm. And the great thing you've done is you've cleaned your data as a result of having this sort of exercise with outliers and so on. True. So people yeah. need to act now, pay and reward teams need to act now to be prepared for the dashboard implementation? Absolutely. You should, every company should want to be dashboard ready. They should want to be in the first wave of organisations mm -hmm. going on the dashboard. Yeah. Yeah. And we like know RTI. how quickly 2023 will come around as well. Yeah. Do you remember RTI? Mm. Yeah. And you had to do your alignment exercise. And if you changed payroll provider, you had yeah. to do the al alignment exercise. You know, this is, you want cleansed data. You want accurate data that, you know, that's what payroll people love, the yeah. accuracy of their data. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the pension dashboard is going to be amazing. You know, I can't wait because huh. I've got quite a few pensions in different places because, you know, in my yeah. career around, I've moved yeah. around. And, um, yeah, it's, it, you know, I can't believe we haven't got yeah. it yet, to be mm -hmm. honest. Well, you will have it on your app because they're, one of the things that the app does is find your pensions and put them all in one place and give them all age wage scores so you can see one against the other. If it's not done well, that's important too, isn't it? You know, so in, as we said, very few outliers we had. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you had less than one, less than yeah, one percent. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, when it came down to it, I mean, there were forty-two errors. Yeah. Out of twelve thousand. Yeah. And the people that have more than that, they need to yeah. act even sooner because they need the time to rectify that and yeah. get ready. They do. Yeah. yeah. Get ready now.